I want to show you how to use the Screencastify drawing tools. The drawing toolbar shows up in the lower left corner of your screen. There are certain places where the Screencastify drawing toolbar doesn't show up. For instance, if you have a new tab open that doesn't really have an application open, you will not see your drawing tools available. If you are in a Screencastify tab, your drawing tools will not be available. So sometimes it's not available. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just not there. So when your drawing tools are available, the farthest one to the left is pause recording. I'm not going to click that or it would pause this recording. If you would click that, you'll notice that your toolbar will switch from having a pause option to a resume option that looks like the play button or a stop option. If you click stop, that will finish your recording and switch you over to a Screencastify tab where you can do things like name your recording, trim your recording, etc. The next option are your different pointer options. So the first one is called Focus Mouse and it turns your pointer into a spotlight so that you can show people or focus their attention right on a certain thing on your screen. These are toggle, so toggle on, toggle off. So now that I turned it off, it's not there anymore. Next option over is to hide the cursor when it's not being moved. So I'm pointing to something and then I stop moving. My pointer is no longer in the way. As soon as I start moving again, it's back. And then my last option is to highlight my clicks. So if I want to tell my students to click on the file menu, it will make a red circle to show them specifically what I'm clicking on so that it draws their attention to the specific thing that I want them to see. Notice that multiples of those can be on at the same time. I have my red circle clicks to highlight something but my pointer will also go away if I'm not moving. So those don't have to be used exclusively. They can be used in conjunction. And again, I can toggle them on or off just by clicking on the button. The next tool is a draw or write on the screen tool. So it turns my mouse pointer into looking like a pen or a pencil. So I can write on the screen or underline something when I'm hovering over the pen tool, I can change the colors. That one's not going to much show up. So let's go to this one. If I need thicker or thinner lines, I use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard to change the size of the line that I draw. Next tool over is an eraser. If I click on the eraser, I can use it just like if I had a pencil in my hand and erase stuff from the screen. But the pop-up gives me a wipe screen clear, which is basically erase all. So when I click this, it erases everything that I've drawn on the screen. The last tool, the X, would just close the drawing toolbar. So that's how you use the drawing tools. My picture here shows each of the breakout toolbars to help remind you. And I clicked on Screencastify so that I can end my recording. I could go down here and pause and then say end my recording. So there's several ways.